Welcome back to Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli, Walking with Purpose. And today, we're going to be discussing strong men blame themselves, weak men blame others. One more time, strong men blame themselves, weak men blame others. <laughs> if you uh, caught my video yesterday, uh, I actually batch recorded all these obviously in one shot. Uh, there's quite a bit of wind where I'm at, so uh, I apologize for any uh, audio issues there may have been. But anyway, let's get right to it. <laughs> let's get right to it. So, this is a this is a problem that I've seen with many many men in the modern world. Many men nowadays like to blame other men for everything and not own up to anything they've done not accept responsibility for anything they've done and at the same time a lot of these men do what's called overcompensate they overcompensate they try to compare uh, everything about themselves to all other men that they know of and whether what they're comparing you know about that man to them is accurate or not they always make it appear or try to make it appear like they are better or have more than that other man this is just horrific wind I mean it's always windy here <laughs> It's always windy here, but uh, <laughs> doing the best we can. We are almost on the other side over by uh, Coyote Point. I haven't been on this part of the trail in quite some time. But anyway. So, yeah, you know, and a lot of these guys that, you know, a lot of these guys that, a lot of these men that blame others for their problems. You know, it, it, it's one thing to blame the opposite sex, which is still wrong, but what makes it even worse with a lot of these men is that they blame other men and attack other men for the way the world is nowadays, right? And like I mentioned many times before here on this channel, and if you've, been, if you've been following me for a while, then you understand this and you've heard it many times. You know, obviously around 55 years ago, women were liberated and became independent and they fought for and got equal rights and nowadays women are practically doing the same things that only once men were doing right and a lot of men nowadays just don't know how to handle that they just don't they, they, they can't stand the fact that women have risen up and in many cases women have surpassed many men I mean, it's surreal. It's it, it, it's it's sad, uh, and it's surreal. But I, I, I'm not mad at women for it. I'm not blaming women for it. I'm like, hey, ladies, congratulations, right? What saddens me is the fact that a lot of these guys are just have just given up on themselves because women have risen up, and women have worked so hard and fought so hard that. Like I said, they've surpassed these guys to the point of where a lot of these guys, like I said, don't want to even try. Don't want to even try to. <laughs> I've seen a sign up there. I think the path is closed the rest of the way. Don't even want to try to turn things around or, or, or compete or make something out of themselves just because of how far women have come and how the ways things are nowadays with women. So, trail closed. This is interesting. I don't know what the hell happened here. This area is a designated construction site. Anyone trespassing on this property upon conviction shall be guilty of a felony. So what are they doing here? Are they just are they just making the Bay Trail a better place? This used to be the Bay Trail. So we can't even get out to Coyote Point now. 
Huh. So where do we go? Huh. It is what it is. Let's continue here. So yeah, I've talked about this time and time again. And I'm gonna continue talking about it until every single man on the planet understands this because that's what's holding you guys back from being real men, being attractive men, being strong men, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, being the rock that women still crave to have nowadays, despite the fact that women are liberated. Women still want men to be men, but because women have risen up, a lot of men have gone down. Like the, like the Titanic. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of men have gone down like the Titanic. Well, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna head the other way. Maybe we can take a different way. Huh. That won't be as windy. We're gonna come across this way here, okay. So if you're a guy, how can you turn this around? What can you do? What did I do? What did I do when I was in these situations in my younger days where I blamed everyone else for my mistakes but myself? I finally had to sit down and realize that, hey, the problem is not my friends. The problem is not my family. The problem is not any girlfriend I was with during that time. The problem is not my coworkers or anything else. The problem is me. It was me and it is me, right? Whenever there's a problem that involves yourself, you are the problem. You are the problem. <clears throat> because like I said, even in yesterday's video, you decide how you show up to everything. No one forces you to say something out of your mouth. No one forces you to show up anywhere. No one forces you to do anything. Sure, people can be very convincing, right? And they could try to get you to do things, but ultimately it's your choice, right? It's your choice what you say or do, right? But why do, why do many men have a hard time owning up to their mistakes? Because they're very insecure. They didn't get enough strokes as a little kid. So they're very insecure and they project their insecurities onto other good men. They perceive to be better than them. And they try to kick other men down, which is why they blame other men for everything as an attempt, as a pathetic attempt to make themselves feel better, right? I've said this before, I'll say it again. And I'll say it over and over and over again. an insecurity and we have a lot of insecure men in this world nowadays but you can snap out of it if you're a guy if you're a guy and you've been displaying weak behavior immature behavior insecure behavior right if you if you've had problems keeping friends around or keeping a girlfriend around or even getting dates. It is because of the way you're behaving. All you have to do is change your behavior. But you gotta own up to the problem first, which is you. You gotta own up to the problem first, which is you. You're the problem. You are the problem, right? The epiphany hit me in my late 20s, early 30s, when I finally admitted that, you know what? All the issues I had growing up were my fucking problem. I was the problem. And any, any, any other issues I have nowadays, I am the problem. It's my fault. It's also your fault if things aren't going good for you, right? If, if, if things aren't happening in a good, positive way for you, it's your fault. Start owning up. 
to your mistakes. Start accepting responsibility. Start being more proactive and not reactive. Stop attacking other men because you perceive them to be better than you. The men that you perceive, to the guys out there that are insecure and need the help, right? I know most of you aren't even open to the help. You gotta come to terms with this on your own, right? But to those guys out there that need the help, that are insecure, okay? You can turn this around today. You can turn this around today. Just look at yourself in the mirror and start off by saying, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. Five freaking times. That's all you've got to do. It starts off with you loving yourself. Because until you love yourself, you're never going to be able to accept responsibility for anything. And you're going to continue blaming others for your issues. going to blame others for everything and guess what if if people haven't already abandoned you they will completely abandon you eventually if you continue that behavior it's only a matter of time if you're behaving this way and you still have some people hanging around when people are younger you know in their teens and 20s they're more so willing to deal with people like that because you're young you don't know as much and you know you still have plenty of time left to figure things out but as you get older as you get into your mid to late 20s or even your early 30s by the time you get to your early 30s if you continue to behave this way people will completely abandon you and disown you they're not going to want to be around that negativity it's too much of a time suck it's too much of an energy suck. So guys, take it from the horse's mouth here, okay? I used to be just like many of you are. I used to be insecure. I used to be immature. I used to blame everyone else for everything. I never owned up to anything. I, I used to not accept responsibility. And it wasn't until I turned that around in my late 20s, early 30s, where it started completely changing my life. It started changing my life in a more positive way. More and more people wanted to be around me. More and more women wanted to go on dates with me. I've always been a one serious relationship at a time type of guy but when I changed my attitude and started owning up to things and being open honest and very transparent I came up more attractive to women and more guys wanted to be my friend and work with me in some capacity whether it be business or hang out and have fun poker nights and doing other fun things that guys do. So start today, guys. Look yourself in the mirror. And tell yourself you've had enough. You're tired of living your life this way. You're tired of the negativity. There are many people that are going to be viewing this video that are going to understand exactly where I'm coming from and they're still going to try to knock me down and still try to say I'm a piece of crap and still try to say you don't know what you're talking about. No, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I really wish you would understand the true meaning about what I'm talking about because if you did, it would better your life. And that goes to many, many people that I'm sure are going to you know, have some not so nice things to say about this video. But with that being said, it's time to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for taking the time to view it. Another video is coming to this channel soon. Please like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, select all notifications. 
That way you won't miss anything and have yourselves a great day. And as always, be good to each other.